Hello everybody to Make Share Daily where you go to get your daily builds. And today we're talking about the EV3 and programs to the EV3. Before we get to the programming, what we need to do is talk about how you connect your computer to the EV3 itself. So in this case, we have our USB cable and that's gonna plug into the EV3. Now make sure that the EV3 is turned on and then you're gonna plug in the EV3 into the cable. And what you're gonna see on here, on your Mindstorm EV3 Home Edition program, you're going to see this blue bar light up, saying that your EV3 is now connected to the computer itself. One thing, if you do turn on your EV3 with this cable attached, it will not, it will not start up correctly. Right, so you wanna start up your EV3 all the way on, let it boot up, let it do its chimes, and then you wanna plug in the cable after that's all set up, correct? Yes. Okay. Note that there are a few other options to plug this in, like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Right. Also on the side here, there are SD, SD and USB ports. And US, USB ports, that's right. So then there's multiple ways to make the connections. The simplest way to do this though is to have the USB cable connected to the computer, which it's off camera, and then connected to the EV3 via that, that cable. This cable should come with the EV3 kit as well, so make sure that you don't wreck it uh, while you're playing with your Legos. So if I want to load a program onto the EV3 itself, how do I do that? Well, on the bottom right, where that is. Yep, where the blue bar is. To the very left. Or no, to the right. To the ve uh, very right. There's this uh, little thing called downloads that right. you should see. So if I hit the download button, what's that going to do? It's going to download it onto here. So is it down? It downloaded the program that we had open, correct? Yeah. So this lesson three move dot ev three is now downloaded to the EV3 itself. So now that that project is loaded onto the EV3, lesson three move, we have the ability to click the center button on the EV3, and what it does is it, create, it opens up the folders inside that folder. So that project that is lesson three move is now showing the different programs that you see here listed out on our computer so you see forward and reverse there's a choice between forward and reverse on the ev3 now and you can go and click on you click down click on folder or forward and it will run the program that is marked forward the one that you've created here is now onto the ev3 and i can actually disconnect this cable correct yeah we can disconnect this cable and that program is still sitting on the EV3 stored memory and I can still run the program called forward and it will create it will run that program the other key tip is you don't have to disconnect and you don't have to run it off of these buttons on the EV3 what you can do is now that it's connected to the computer all I can do I can open up my program and I can click the go button and it's going to operate that forward control that forward program so that it operates exactly what you just told it to do it's still connected to the program you don't have to click any buttons on here you're basically controlling it via the computer itself so when you click on that button it goes forward it goes forward one rotation and we'll talk about how to create forward and reverse in our next episode so thank you everybody for tuning in to the first couple lessons of the EV3. Today we're talking about the connections of the EV3 to the computer and running the programs on the EV3. Tune in next week where we talk about our first programs that we're going to create, which is moving forward and moving in reverse. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more of these great videos in the future. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.